Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where you talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. Woo, Lego. Now, we all have different reactions to coronavirus, but check out this one guy's reaction. Everybody acting like the coronavirus is just so much of a big deal. Everybody scared and everything. <laughs> oh, wait. Who, oh, man, is this? Is that... <laughs> Yo, hold on. Does this man have a trash bag on his head? I was like, is that a grocery bag on his head? That is a grocery <laughs> bag on this man's head. For what? I played a hell of a joke on these people at work. Yeah. Look, I locked the door from the outside. They was in there having lunch. I walked in the room. I said, achoo. Achoo. <laughs> That's messed up. Because if anyone's sneezing or coughing out there, like, you know people are running the other way. Like, this is dangerous. You should have seen them in there running, trying to get out the windows out of that thing. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. He's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> that's what a conspiracy theorist looks like. I know, look at his eyes. That's, look what, at that's his what a looks like. Yes, his eyes are so wide. They was in there sweating like a snowman in hell. Sweating like a <laughs> snowman in hell? Oh, no. Look, I just can't wait till you get back to the days where you can stick your in somebody else and not have to wash your hands afterwards. Wait, what? Hold on. He said, <laughs> what? Like, his little tongue. Yo, Louisiana, y'all wildin'. Now, now you gotta go ahead and drink a whole bottle of sanitizer before you do anything. Drink a whole bottle of sanitizer? Bro, I hope that's what you're doing with it. I, I hope you know better than that. I hope you know you're not supposed to drink it. Maybe he drinks it before he sticks his tongue in the... In the... In the... Ah. Uh. <laughs> the coronavirus is not that damn serious, y'all. <clears throat> hey, don't, 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 don't do that. Oh, God. I'm, I'm don't sorry. do that. <laughs> what, is, what is that a bottle of? <laughs> Price of sanitizing spray or something. That's a disinfectant. I thought he said it's not that serious. I know, and then he got scared. <laughs> he got scared. Breaking news, homie. It is uh, that serious. People are dying out there. I'm, I'm don't sorry. do that. <laughs> You're really excited. Wait, does she have a broken wrist? What I don't, oh yeah, what? Yeah, what's up with your girl? What? <laughs> Why is she holding it like? And report on the news is dangerous wow. nowadays, huh? Yikes! Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew Jordan, Jordan presents. presents. Now, during these serious times, you usually see celebrities caution people on staying in. So check out Ben Roethlisberger on this one. Hey everyone, Ben Roethlisberger here. Just wanted to take a moment to make a quick video. Whoa, look at that beard. Holy. Yo. Woo. He got that fresh Friar Tuck haircut. Well, you got to check out some of these memes. Quarantine before and after. <laughs> wow. That's wow, real, though. That, that's like aging. He's like, aged like, like 40 facts. years. And then uh, here's another one. Oh. Keep closing barbershops down and David. watch what happens. And then... uh. Big Ben looks like he's been trapped in Jumanji for the last 20 years. <laughs> we all trapped in Jumanji. This is wild. And then the finale for these memes. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Good luck eating your popcorn, Ben. It's not even going in his mouth. I know, because there's a bird in his beard oh, a b a that's bird. eating the popcorn. <laughs> I love you, family guy. All right, Big Ben, stay fluffy. And while Big Ben took the heartfelt approach, Michael Rappaport wasn't quite so nice. Viewer discretion is advised. Yo, we're gonna start seeing PSAs, public service announcements. PSA. <laughs> I know, I know, why, why, why do you say it like that? PSA. PSA. So I'm like, damn, okay, bro. We got we get it. You're from New York. We yeah, get I it. Yeah, I felt his spit, it. like, come out. Right. <laughs> Where they say, please stay inside. I'm so-and-so, please stay inside. I, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not asking, please. I'm telling Stay your little punk, dirty, shit stained ass inside. Ooh, okay, because we all <laughs> listen to you. Whoa, that's scary. Parents, go outside, grab your kids by the neck. If you have sons, grab your daughters by the, the little wedgie, the panty area, and drag them the, inside. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't talk about little girls like that. Uh-uh. You don't grab girls by the panties. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just trying to say, get inside. That, that's what he's trying to say. Still don't want to listen. And people are like, please come inside. Get your kids to wherever they are. They're not going to hang with their friend. Hide your kids. Hide your wife, all right? Because Michael Rappaport's kids. out here verbally abusing people <laughs> and, and picking people up by the panty area. Now you need to get on some tough old school 1930s shit. 1930s? Oh, well, that was like, that was not. Bro, you weren't even around. What you mean 1930s? <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure my parents were like that in the 1990s. 
Get your little dirty and grubby. Grubby? <laughs> yes, you look grubby. Selfish, YOLO, dumb, tattooed faces in the house. Tattooed faces? Yes, because that's what everyone's doing. Remember that old PSA back in the 70s? <laughs> Why is he remembering like this piece? Man, you, man, you love it when he says yeah. that. <laughs> I can't even do PSA. it. PSA. I'm like, damn, brother. I'm not even doing it on the mic because I'm not trying to mess up my mic. He's like, it's 9 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? This shit's 24-7. Ah, Don't ask, where are you, Jeff? Donna, uh, Tracy, wh what are you guys doing? They're out giving diseases and catching diseases. He's not talking about white white parents. I know, right yeah, now. I know. He, like, knows, he knows. He knows the demo. Yeah, he know. He ain't talking yeah. to black folk. He ain't talking to black folk like that. It's about Jeff and Donna. If you see my kids in the outside, drop kick them in the neck. Dang verbal abuse one oh one. They about to call child protective services on uh, that Michael Rappaport household because they they gonna look for some bruising and belt marks and kicks in the neck, right? Because <laughs> brother, they coming for you. Get your kids in the house. Stop asking questions. This is a public service announcement from me, Michael Rappaport. But you know what? Maybe Michael Rappaport has a point. Maybe some youths out here are not taking it seriously. Check out this next clip. Uh oh. Who's scared of coronavirus? Don't touch your mouth. Ew! Uh, that's disgusting in general. Like, even if coronavirus wasn't in existence, like, why would you even do that? Oh, is that a crime? Yes, that's terrorism. Oh, it's terrorism? Yeah, you can't do that. When there's a pandemic and there's a virus going around, y'all y'all be happy to know this man has been arrested. So, Michael Rappaport, you had a point. You had a point. And with this quarantine going on, people are finding more and more creative ways to work out. Check out this 49ers football player and his Rocky-inspired workout. Faster, faster. Faster, see that, faster. See, that would be you and that would be me. That right? would, yeah. Hell yeah. You'd be like, faster, faster. Faster, let's go. Oh, you think you're a child again. Yes. Oh, with the football. Oh, Moving. okay. Moving in the snow. Okay. You oh. know about this, so. Is that a log? That's a log. Uh. That's dangerous. That's explosive lunges. That's hard. In the snow, too. Look at him. Uh. Dig him. Dig him. <laughs> Man, we've been getting so creative with these workouts. Like, we have the toilet paper push ups. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Ooh, get it. If you haven't done it yet, do it. And now it's time for the Viral Victor of the Week. The Viral Victor of the Week goes to these YouTubers. Well, we did a video a couple months back where we bought all the toilet paper from the store. And with everything going on in the news, toilet paper has actually become a hot commodity. So today we are filling up the ambulance. We're going to fill it as full as we can and hand out toilet paper to as many people as we can. Wait, why do they have an ambulance? That's the, that was my first question. Why do y'all have an ambulance? Bro, this is our ambulance. Like, what? Hey, um, do you guys need any toilet paper by chance? Okay, we're about to pull up out front. And we have a ton of toilet paper we can give you. Well, that'd be great. Why don't you pull up front? Who is this? He sounded kind of confused. He's yeah, like, he was um, like, what? So we have a ton of toilet paper. You want some? Sure. I have 16 residents. Whatever you can spare. I get to, like, personally take one home, too? Yeah. yeah. Really? We got yeah. you. Oh, she's kind of come up on some toilet paper. Woo! Hey. Take your pick. Oh, y'all are so sweet. That's nice of them. So good job, guys. There's yeah. some good coming out of all this. Yeah, that's, that's good. Cool. Thanks for watching the episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo! Lego. Bye-bye.